hey guys welcome back to the channel and welcome to 8.3.1 easy bath new content day and we are going to attempt can stop one stop with throw down bath the defenders are going to be your saucer supreme gamora symbiote supreme odin green goblin and spider-man supreme for which make sure you bring in a good counter he can be really annoying to deal with the nodes are going to be Throwdown, Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Striker Vulnerability, Rubber Brand, Specially Energetic and Special 2 Bias. So if I simply explain that, do you need relics for this path? No, but if they are there, they will be helpful. Also, you will need Science Champions to run through this path. Now you can do it with relics and without relics. If your size champions have furies, you don't need the relics, so champions like Abomination, Silk, uh, Hulk, Scorpion with Venom Synergy, She-Hulk, all of these work very well on their own. But if you have size champions that do not have furies, like Red Hulk, uh, Luke Cage, Quicksilver, then you will need relics because whenever you will uh, use a relic, that will give a fury and unstoppable as well so it depends on what kind of a champion you're using and the boss island we're going to attempt today is going to be a uh, gore with special attack heal block force tight steady preservance and cold turkey we're going to cheese him with ronin so stay tuned for that to the end of the video and let's jump into the path The first fight is going to be against a Sorcerer Supreme. I am going to showcase here Scorpion with Venom Synergy. Every time you apply a poison on the defender, you will get a fury for yourself. And once you get a fury, you will go unstoppable with the node. And because I'm unstoppable, you can do all 100% damage bypassing the can't stop, won't stop node. So pretty easy with Scorpion and Venom Synergy. I'm just going to spam my SP1. So you can easily do the whole path with the synergy. Some other champions we will also discuss with. But all you need to do is throw your SP1, stack as much as poison as possible. And with the unstoppable and the power stings, the defenders will die very quick. Next up is going to be a Gamora. I'm going to use a She-Hulk against her. Now She-Hulk has her own Furies. So once she activates her Fury, she is going to go unstoppable and bypass the can stop, won't stop node. All you need to be careful about is the SP1 and SP2 evade from Gamora. And when the Fury stacks, you can go with an SP1 into striker rotation and you should be good. Now because of the extra energized, Gamora will get SP2 quite quickly. So let her throw the SP2, it's easier to evade and it will help you refresh your furies as well. You can also throw in your striker that will also give you another fury for your unstoppable or for your unstoppable. So just there and extra damage. And yeah, just like that, you rinse and repeat, keep refreshing your furies and you can take down Gamora. You can use other champions as well. If you have the ones that have their built-in fury, you don't need the relic. But if you have size champions that have furies like She-Hulk and Hulk, you can just bring them in and they can run through the Mora quite easily. Moving on to the third fight, you have Symbiote Supreme. I'm going to use Scorpion with Venom again. You can use them for the whole path. Uh, pretty simple. He is going to gain power a bit slowly. If you throw somebody with a Petrified, the power 
will be stopped. I'm just gonna spam my heavies in the corner and do some damage. Uh, any size champion with the fury will work. Relics will also help. And I would suggest you to use rank 5 size champions to get through with this path quicker. Uh, rank 3s will take a little bit of time, but you will get the extra damage from the global node if you run five, uh, if you run six star rank five champions. Next up is going to be Odin as a defender, and I am going to use the Overseer. Now, Overseer does not have his own fury until unless he activates his cosmic mode. So this fight is going to show you what a fight without a fury champion would look like and it would be quite long. Although you have a striker and you can spam it and you can get the fury from that but still it takes a bit of time. So I'm gonna wait out to get 6 of those charges then activate my cosmic wrath before I go in and attack. But you will see that the damage reduction is quite significant if you don't have the right champions to go into this path so again if you're gonna use a champion without a fury i would say use a rank 4 or a rank 5 and boost also if you'd like to make a life a little easier otherwise it will be a little slog so this fight is just a showcase of that and once i activate my sp3 and i get that fury then you will see the damage is totally on another level So after that long fight we are back on to the next one that is going to be a goblin and I'm going to use a scorpion again with venom synergy that should make the fight really really short sp1 and sp2 both you can block out or sp2 you can evade size champions with fury and a relic is the way to go makes the fight much easier uh, you can go ahead and use some boosts as well that will be also making the fight shorter the more the furies the better and yep you can take him out with the striker burst damage as well Thank you. 
and the final fight before the boss is going to be a spider-man supreme and he will be a really really annoying one to take if you don't bring in the right counter i just brought in human torch specially for him so make sure that you have the right counter somebody who can bypass miss and is also a science champion that will help you otherwise you will just have to play with very heavy attacks and light attacks it's still doable but i would rather not deal with the miss and just get through this fight uh, much more easier so make sure that you bring the counter for this one and again same thing use your relics to get the furies if you don't have them and you should be able to take him down relatively quickly i will leave some options against spider man supreme just on the right just check them out the boss is going to be a gore with civil war zone so he will gain a lot of those armor buffs and we're gonna use it to our advantage and we're gonna bring in a ronin and he also has steady preservance so the deal here is to use your sp1 before he can throw a special attack so you will never allow him to get into a rhythm of throwing the specials and getting un uh, unstunnable because of steady preservance so keep throwing that sp1s and he'll be power locked and that's a quick cheese with gore other options that work are going to be a neutralized champions or faint seal champions they're amazing as well so I hope this helps you out for 8.3.1, I'll be back for 8.3.2 and for the whole completion videos. Stay tuned to the channel and leave a comment down below if you want to know, if you have some, any questions and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!